Yeah, hi, I'm uh, James. I'm one of the directors at Ken the Dandy, uh, one of the newer companies on uh, on Savile Row. The range of customers, the range of garments that we make is, you know, is absolutely exceptional. When you think of female fashion, um, style commentators, every time a girl gets out of a car at a premiere, they're always commenting, wow, she's wearing so-and-so, she's wearing so-and-so. When a guy gets out of the car, he's kind of, oh, he's wearing a suit. There isn't that sort of same trumpeting, sort of fanfare about the guys that are, and what they're wearing. If we want to protect them and preserve Savile Row, we need to also trumpet what it is uh, everyone on the street is doing. You know, it takes a long time to, to do what these guys are doing, to learn how to cut, learn how to make. Um, and it's important to educate the difference. All suits are not born equal. Um, and Savile Row is at the pinnacle of, uh, of everything suit making. Any guy can go out and wear a hoodie, you know. And there's been a massive swing back to formal way of dressing, people caring about how they look. Yeah. And you know, not anyone can wear a Savile Row suit. It's something to be achieved for. And that's what we're in here for, is to be sort of an achievable luxury, a considered purchase. And it always upsets me when you see these guys going for awards and their sleeves are down here because with a little bit of effort, you can look so fantastic. And it's about, a lot of people don't know how to do it. And that's what we're here for. We're not just in the, in the business to make people a suit, but we're also in the business to try and sort of say, look, this is what's gonna work for you. And, and try and help the people. In it. And it's a process, not only for us to make the customer, but a journey the customer goes on to sort of experiencing you know, how to look the best you can look. Our lifestyles have changed and you know sometimes people will be just running in from shopping all day in London and just happen to be in town and want to catch a show and don't have time to change. But if you can, I think I would err on the side of dressing up rather than dressing down and I would embrace the fact that it's a, one of the few occasions we can actually do that and have a good time with it. Just keeping it very simple and elegant and chic but having a little bit of fun with it. I think it's a great way for a guy to really express his personal style. And what's been great is to see uh, a lot younger guys really taking an interest in, in how they dress and their appearance and what, what's exciting is to see how young guys are looking at tailoring um, as, a, as a trend. So it used to be about you know trainers and jeans and now it's sort of looking at tailoring and everybody wants to look much smarter and doing that in their own interpretation way is quite exciting. You, know, you should uh, not be intimidated by Savile Row or Savile Row style. It's where menswear started. It's the basis of beautiful British tailoring. It's obviously my advice on that is you know just buy the best you can afford and I think it's all about the mix. So you know if you are investing in you know a beautiful well-cut well-made suit buy the best you can afford on those kind of things and then maybe things that are more fun you might wear more seasonally or maybe wear it for one season then you can have a little more fun and maybe invest less, to, less in it. I think it's all about today mixing it up.